Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! It's not Halloween today. But when you're watching this. When you're watching this. It'll be Halloween. It's going to be Halloween. But first... Before we go into our activities tonight, we have a very special message for the Ortiz children. Get ready. Annalyn, Charlotte, and Jonah, I am sure that you think that your parents are about to take you trick-or-treating. But you're actually going on a surprise trip to Walt Disney World. You're going to be here. Here. You guys are going to partake in the food and wine kids race. And yeah, so get your bags ready. This is you happening. You are coming here. To Disney World. Now. Food and wine. Food and wine. Halloween. <laughs> so we are so excited that we were able to tell you that you Surprise. are coming here. And we really hope that we get to see you while you're here. Yeah. Now, Peter, what else are we doing tonight? This is called Prepare for Halloween 2018. Mm -hmm. art style. This is what tonight's vlog consists of. So if you were looking for Disney World, you better turn it off right now. Whoa. <laughs> Cause this is getting carved tonight. Maybe something Disney-esque. But look what Sarah surprised me. She ran to the store. I've been jonesing. I don't even like pumpkin pie. I know. That's how... guess what I got for me. I saw, but that's for me too, right? Yeah, and we didn't get any trick-or-treaters last year. Um, and we won't even be here during... We won't even really be here. Maybe during the day we'll get some. But I just wanted to have candy just in case. Because, like, what if a trick-or-treater showed up? And you didn't have any. <laughs> how mad would you be as a little Guys, sweet tooth? And... Look at my cute um, pin that my best friend Lauren sent me. Wow. Isn't that cute? So what else are you doing that we're not showing here? Cool. Um, that we're not showing right Cooking now. corner with Sarah? Yeah, I'm gonna cook our chili because chili's always better the second day. And chili is the go-to Halloween yeah, time. Yeah, chili and hot dogs, that's our family tradition. And what are you gonna do? Post I have to, view? yeah, I have to like, organize vloggers. So I just recorded vloggers view but I have to get it all organized with the different files and edit it and post it. So I'll be doing that while you cook the chili. First step is to put on the most critically acclaimed Halloween movie there ever was. recipe I do have some diced jalapenos that I'm going to add after it cooks for a while um, I let it cook for two hours it right now it does look pretty liquidy it does thicken up a bit um, because I'll just turn it down to low and it'll cook for two hours and it'll thicken up so that'll be the last little bit that I add to it and then like I'll taste it and make sure if, if there needs to be anything added that we will but that is our little traditional chili recipe. I should actually make a correction to that statement. I do switch it up a bit from my mom's. She just uses the chili beans in the ch spicy chili sauce and she doesn't do the jalapenos or any sort of extra peppers at the end. Um, 
but at its core, it is our family recipe. I literally finished just as the movie was finishing. And so it's just over an hour movie, like an hour and 10 minutes. Ah! Hey, Wendy, what's up, girlfriend? So that's about how long it takes to make the chili. We got the free form app, so we're watching the Disney parks decorating for fall special. One year we even went to the parade, especially to see a very special grave digger who happens to sleep in that bedroom. Good late evening everybody I'm back in the vlog it's not just the Sarah Brookhart show it's the Brookhart project again and I want to say I'm sorry but I failed and I won tonight I recorded my late vloggers view and I had this grandiose plan of record of editing the vloggers view posting it for the patrons today and for everybody else tomorrow happy Halloween <laughs> and then going on a run after we do the pumpkin. Well, guess what? Because I'm trying to, I was trying to be really overzealous with the computer program and the computer was giving me problems. It is quarter to 10 and we haven't even begun to uh, carve the pumpkin. And if you've never carved a pumpkin, just watch the rest of the vlog and you'll see what kind of process it is. But if you have, you know, it's not gonna take, or it's going to take a while. And we go to bed at 11. And so I'm choosing my health and my happiness over getting this podcast up absolutely today. Are you still gonna run? No, I don't think I'm gonna run either. I know. Again, you're choosing your health and your family. Yeah, I think I'm beginning to feel the benefits of sleeping more, aren't you? Do you think? Do you feel it? Yeah. I, I think I feel it. Here's the proper setup to begin excavating your Halloween pumpkin. You need a scooper to scoop the guts. You need a small spoon to scoop the small guts and some lethal weapons to make this pumpkin's day. The design pressure is on. Peter is starting the the cutting of the tail. If you've never carved a jack-o'-lantern before, you know this is, well, no. If you've never cut a jack-o'-lantern before, you don't know this. It's very important to get a circle big enough so that you can lift it up and you can scoop everything out from the inside, but not too big that it makes your pumpkin not sturdy. We also failed to get newspaper, so. The other part of the cap is it has to be angled so it can rest so the top, you don't want to do like straight down because then it, the cap just falls in. You don't need a headless jack o -lantern. The cap needs to be released. Ooh, it's a full pumpkin. Okay, our pumpkin <laughs> had these little twiglets inside. Interesting. Peter says that this is like the most seeds he's ever seen in a pumpkin. For any of our um, our international friends, sorry we didn't warn you how goopy this is. <laughs> Put a comment down below if you had never seen this before. <laughs> This is the part full of all the stress is uh, Sarah takes a sharpie to the pumpkin. She does the artistic work of figuring out what the face is actually going to look like. Then I go in and I just cut out along the lines and then any extra sharpie we wash off with soap. We actually, our tip is to use hand sanitizer. Yeah. Actually hand sanitizer takes permanent marker off of anything. So if you have it on your kitchen table like I just did or your laptop or your American Girl doll. Use hand sanitizer. Here's the pumpkin face. The concentration. Is vital. The dedication. We got two eyeballs done already. Now we just need a big old smile. He's a friendly pumpkin. 
His name is Rupert. No! Rupert is the name Peter always uses. Oh, you just rubbed I'll, against my foot like a cat. <laughs> I'll think of a name for him. Okay, we named him Clarence. And that's Rupert. And this will be Rupert. It's not the finished product just yet. Dress rehearsing, let's go to the finished product. <laughs> Alrighty, just adding my jalapenos. Just gonna mix it on in. Ooh, lit the black flame candle. Will you take this so I can start? Thank you, kind gentlemen. Teamwork, teamwork makes the chili. The last stage is to take the top off. Ooh, you're just a shadow. Light your candle. Ooh. And with adult supervision, or pretending to be an adult like myself, you carefully put that in the center of the jack-o'-lantern. Eve, do you love it? And there you have it. You should go turn off all the lights in the apartment. There's our jack o' lantern named Luca. No, Clarence! Clarence. We put it in our little cutesy stand. So sweet. Unfortunately, unlike Chicago, um, Clarence will probably only <laughs> last until tomorrow night. And I'll probably have to bring him to the dumpster on Thursday. But he's worth it. He's gonna enjoy the Florida weather while he's here. Have you ever shown anybody your stacked pumpkins? No. Okay, after we sign off, we'll show them. Alrighty, goodbye. Goodbye. We just want to say Happy Halloween, everybody. Hope Yay. you have a safe and Go very on. enjoyable. But we hope you have a happy and wonderful Halloween. And today is when you saw it. That's, that's how Eve gets comfy. And that's how the Brookhearts get ready for Halloween. It's good to, good be, to home. be home. Look at Sarah's stacked pumpkins. She's very proud of these. Making the most when one of the pumpkins hit a broken stem. Yeah, she hit it, but it's like a snowman. It's like a wannabe snowman pumpkin. All that noise during the sign off was to get to this comfy position. Why are you so cute? Hmm? Mm -hmm. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>